All right, what's going on, everyone? Jared Leon here with Pack of Punch Traders. Just gonna make a quick trade recap from today. Very crappy trading day, very emotional. Broke, you know, a couple solid rules that I have, and it really cost me. So let's just kind of dive into it here a little bit. Um, I was holding SDC overnight. If you guys remember, it's a multi day breakout. I was looking for a gap up into the 130s and was up late last night because of work. So I didn't get much sleep, woke up, you know, around half an hour before market open, saw that it was still holding up, was like, all right, this is fine. Gonna set a stop, hit up, you know, put an advanced order in and uh, just kind of slept in a little bit and woke up around seven and saw that I had stopped out and was like, all right, whatever, you know, $85 loss on the day, it is what it is. Uh, I was coming back, ended up taking a small position here and cutting it. Like, I took a position at like 207, cut it at 206 or something like that. And uh, it was like a $5 loss. Just realized I was in a little too early. And it held the walk really nicely, made higher lows, um, and was trying to confirm the breakout level. Took, you know, 500 shares here at 208 and got up to 226. Um, I was, you know, really looking for it to get into the 230s and didn't take, you know, my gains. Um, I'm tired of taking like five to eight percent gains, and then the stock, you know, continues without me. It's been a problem of mine just selling too soon. So I was totally fine with just taking, you know, you know, taking my stop here and taking the small loss. Um, so I ended up being eighty six dollars, eighty seven dollars basically in losses today on SDC. Cut, cut it at 205 when it cracked and uh, it is what it is it was just annoying really annoying play and um, you know I'm not going to try to sit here and be like oh well, I should have just taken it and I would have been you know break even on the day if I would have sold in the 220s I'm you know it is what it is I was fine with taking the loss on that um, but did was also really annoyed and frustrated that it pulled all the way back and stopped me out after being green like 7% um, and it was frustrating especially since I took the loss over overnight so I was just looking to revenge trade I was looking to revenge trade something I kind of had my eye on rev and you can see here kind of like a multi-month breakout that it was trying to set up and um, I, uh, you see it in the morning, topped out at 1095, pulled back, held view up really well, um, perked back above the view, the breakout level and 10, which is that whole dollar level, key level. Decided to take a position here at 1025. Um, and for some reason, I, you know, and then I said, okay, you know, if it pulls back, holds 10, I can add, and I'm really looking for a push up to like 13. Um, and, it just kept pulling back and for some reason instead of just cutting it when it cracked under 10 like I knew I should um, I kept adding and I just kept adding and kept adding ended up having as you see here 300 shares I was adding 50 shares at a time all the way down into the 960s and just hoping that you know there's I was thinking there's a lot of support down here and you know around 9 at 950 you got VWAP there um, if it you know it does pull back like it's doing I expect it to hold VWAP and we still start to grind back up towards, you know, 1050 um, high tens. And instead we just wash right under, right through VWAP and right down into, you know, the low fives. So, I mean the low eights, sorry. And yeah, it was just crazy. And I ended up just cutting it at 10, nine, I mean 950, uh, 955 and ate a $137 loss. And that's just, the kind of crap that I'm, I'm talking about and why I've actually stopped making video lessons the past, past couple months is because I'm too like up and down to, you know, I, I take a couple, I have a few good trades when I'm taking small size, when I'm being taken small size and um, I'm not really, you know, overthinking things and I'm really trying to stick to the pattern. Uh, I feel like I do really well besides taking my gains too soon. And then when I feel like, okay, I've had, you know, three or four winning trades in a row, I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm ready to size up and I'll, I'll see a pattern come along and I'll size into it. 
and I'll take a freaking loss on it and it'll be a bigger loss and it'll wipe out all my gains. Um, and it's just been super, super frustrating. Um, and it's almost embarrassing to have to, you know, come make a video lesson when Fatty's doing, you know, he's killing it, he's been consistent, he's, you know, green every day, and then me who's like, I have a good trade here and there, but then I have a bad trade here and there that just wipes out all my gains and it makes me feel like an idiot, you know? Um, but I also think that it's good to see both sides of somebody who's doing really well and somebody who's still struggling. Um, I think it'll be beneficial to people out there who are learning. So I just gotta keep, you know, I just gotta, I need, I need to just put in more work, honestly. It's been, it's been nice to be back and, and be up in the mornings and be watching the market and trading. Um, but I need to be putting in that extra work like Fatty has been doing for the past years. Um, and that's what's made him be so successful. Um, you know, nobody sees all the hours you put in and, and lack of sleep that you get from grinding and putting in the work. Um, it just shows up one day, you know, all of a sudden, you know, your trading is doing good and people are, are watching your, are watching you and, and telling me how good of a trader you are. But they don't see all the work that you put in to get there. Um, and, and, and me, like, I'm not saying I haven't put in any work cause I, I know I've put in a lot of work, but I need to put in more. I, I need to put in the few extra hours a day, um, doing the little things like making the watch list and, um, spreadsheets, journaling, all that good stuff. I feel like that that's all that little stuff goes a long way with your trading and it'll, you know, really help you grow. Um, to the, to to be the best trader that you can be, and uh, yeah, you know, you just got to put in the work. So I just needed I'm I'm showing up every day. I just need to put in a little bit more effort um, to really push myself over this little hump that I've been in. So I still think it's good it's good for everybody to see. You know, I don't want to be that guy who just like disappears. You know, um, the wannabe trader who ends up just disappearing because he couldn't handle it. Um, definitely not me. Um, I'm here to stay. This is my lifetime goal. So I'll do whatever it takes to make this shit work. Um, but yeah, that's it. Just the, the, two, the two trades. I'm not going to sit here and rant. Um, shit, a really shitty day broke my rules and uh, I paid for it. So I just got to come back tomorrow um, refreshed, ready to go, and um, you know, be willing to just take small size and be, be okay with taking a small loss or even not trading at all, waiting for the, you know, the right setup and um, trying to play that pattern to the best of my abilities. I, I need to get, for me, I just, I think about the money too much. And when I do that, I end up taking losses. Um, but when I don't think about the money and I'm really just playing the pattern with smaller size, so like the money is not kind of messing up my head where I'm getting emotional, I do really well besides selling too soon because sometimes I'm impatient and sometimes I'm just, you know, I'm green and I want to lock it in. But um, when I start thinking about the money and I want to start adding some size so I can actually have some nice gains, I fuck it up and I take a loss and it takes away all my gains. So that is the key thing, I think. And um, I'm going to try to do the best I can to, you know, make that a priority and, and do those little corrections to help me get better. So, uh, enough ranting for me. I'm going to call it a night. I hope you guys enjoy the video and, uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow.